These are palladium prints. And so you know about gelatin silver prints where there's the gelatin medium on paper and then the silver um, helps to hold the image. Palladium is related to platinum. Platinum prints is another photographic technique. And these date back to the mid 19th century. Um, palladium is the, the element that holds the image to the paper and unlike a silver gelatin print, there is no, there is no gelatin matrix. This, the, palladium, the palladium goes directly onto the paper and then the image comes through the chemistry. The other thing about these, it's, it's the longest lasting of photo processes. It enables artists to achieve um, a beautiful range of gray tones from very velvety thick to light and almost white. Um, the other thing that's interesting about them is they are contact prints. And that means that the, that the image is the same size as the negative and that the negative would have been laid down on the paper after it um, gets the palladian coating. Um, so the negatives are this big. So he's using a 19th century technique but he's upping the scale in a very modern manner. And he does that through computer assisted programming. So he uses a medium format camera, which means that his negative is probably um, four and a half inches square, roughly. And so he's blowing it up with the age, aid of a computer, getting a negative that is exactly the same size as this, and then producing the image in the dark room that way. Yes, yeah, so these are laborious. Um, but they're long lasting and you get an effect with these that you can't get with silver gelatin prints which is the more um, contemporary black and white process that was in use before inkjet prints basically the, the, the last great analog photo method um, this series was done for the Botanical Garden in St. Louis to raise money for their succulent and cactus house. So these are mostly specimens that were there at the Botanical Garden. Um, and like so many photographers in the 20th century, he takes the form, the flower form, and by concentrating on it without the, um, without background, cropping it into abstraction, he makes them into something that they're not if you just look at a green succulent. This is something that had been done in 20th century photography, maybe even, I would have to look for 19th century, but 20th century, someone like um, Steichen or um, Weston, Harold Weston, uh, no, Edward Weston, sorry, and or even someone like um, Imogene Cunningham, who got flowers, got aloe, got very sculptural plants, went, on, went up on them, cropped them, and turned them into kind of abstract forms. And this is something he does over and over in this. So that's where we are. We still have still lives upstairs and um, the grid show upstairs, and then downstairs we have uh, the highlights of, of the post painterly and the early uh, Dr. Dom artworks. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. <laughs>